Hey, what's going on guys? It's Most Remoto, and today I'm going to show you how to install an LED bulb in your Yamaha TW200 headlight. So the only tools you'll need for this job are a ratchet with a 10 millimeter socket. You're going to need your LED bulb, and you're also going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. So the bulb that the Yamaha TW200 headlight takes is an H4 bulb, and it looks like this. It has those three prongs on the back of it. And one of them is for the power, next is for ground, and then the last one is for the high beam. I just picked this bulb off of Amazon, but you can find them anywhere and they're not too expensive. To install the LED bulb, it's super easy and it only takes about five minutes. So let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is remove this Phillips head screw located on the bottom of the front fairing. Now that the screw is removed, you can go ahead and remove the fairing by pushing down on the top and pulling out. So now that you've removed that, you can go ahead and remove the two 10 millimeter bolts on either side of the headlight. So now that the two 10 millimeter bolts are removed, you can go ahead and hold the housing on either side and pull straight out. And now that it's removed from the top bracket, all you need to do is pull up. And that removes it from this bottom part. And you can just rest your headlight down just like that. So now that the headlight is removed from the bracket, you can go ahead and pull out this three pronged connector. So now that the three prong connector has been removed, we can go ahead and bring this to the table and finish installing the LED bulb. All right, so now that you've removed the headlight housing from the motorcycle, we're gonna go ahead and remove this rubber grommet. To do that, you just hold the headlight down like that. I like to put my thumb on these little prongs and just kind of pry up at the rubber until it eventually pops right off. So we'll set that to the side. Next, you can see here that there's a little locking collar around the bulb. And to remove that, you just turn it to your left. And that unlocks it. And then usually, it'll just wiggle right out like that. So now you've exposed the old bulb. And all you need to do is just pull that right out. So now that you've removed the old bulb, Next step is to put in the new one. So a piece of advice is the two smaller or the two thinner metal pieces go on the bottom while the larger one fits in the top. So the new bulb will just drop right into place. So now that you have the new bulb installed, you can go ahead and reinstall the collar, the locking collar. And this is kind of a pain in the butt, you just gotta get it lined up and take your time, don't force it. So the lock letter should be up top and just drop that over and twist. All right, so now that it's secure, you can go ahead and install the rubber grommet and that you just push over right onto the top. And the only thing to consider when putting the grommet on is just make sure that this piece of foam is over it, just like that. So now you're ready to install the housing back onto the motorcycle. All right, so the next step is to reinstall the housing. What you wanna do first is go ahead and plug in that connector again, just like that. 
And then there's this small bracket right here that needs to go over this rubber part. And you just put that over just like that. So once that part is in, go ahead and slide the headlight back onto its bracket. And one other note is you wanna make sure that all the rubber is on the outside of the bracket. So once you have that housing lined up, you can just go ahead and reinstall your bolts. All right, and with the 10 millimeter socket, go ahead and tighten them. Don't tighten them too much, but enough so it won't go anywhere. Now that's tight, I'm just gonna go a little bit more, and that's it. And then the same thing for this side. And you can go ahead and check to make sure that is secure. And that seems pretty good. So now that you have the housing reinstalled, you wanna go ahead and install the headlight fairing. And to do that, this part needs to click into the bracket that is above the blinker just like that. And make sure to do the same thing for the other side. All right, and now go ahead and make sure that the screw hole lines up just like that. And now that it's all lined up, you can go ahead and reinstall the Phillips head screw up front. And once again, this is just hand tight. You don't want to crack any of the plastics. All right, so the only thing left to do now is test out the LED. And that's definitely a lot brighter, and I'm really happy with that. All right, well, thanks for watching my video. I hope you found this helpful, and as always, ride safe.